in. This is my favorite shirt. Oh. Uh. Mr. Gates' office, please. Phil, it's Dave in engineering. I've got something I think you'll want to take a look at. It's about the smallest Windows XP computer I've ever seen. I'm going to call it the Ultra Mobile PC. It's got everything, hard drive, memory, speakers, and everything except the keyboard and mouse. But you know what? I don't need a mouse. It's a touch screen. I can use this thin plastic stylus to tap the screen. Uh-oh, it looks like this non-standard screen size is so small it doesn't even fit standard dialog boxes. I, I can't get to the OK button. But you know, that's OK because there's a special workaround button here that lets you change the screen resolution to one of two larger sizes. Of course, they're just simulated that way, so things can look a little distorted or a little blurry. As for the keyboard, you don't really need a keyboard. You can bring up this on-screen keyboard that you tap with your thumbs. Of course, the on-screen keyboard does sort of block what it is you're trying to type, and it's pretty slow going. But that's okay, because, you know, there's also a workaround for that. There's also handwriting recognition. It really works very well, as long as you don't need to go back and edit things. Now, I've got Samsung lined up to manufacture the first Ultramobile PC. Unfortunately, they priced it at $1,100. For that kind of money, you could buy two full-blown laptops. And the Q1 doesn't even include a CD or DVD drive. That'll set you back another 300 bucks if you want to be able to install software. Truth is, for that kind of money, you could buy a real laptop that's not much bigger at all, like this Fujitsu, which includes a trackpad, a keyboard, and a DVD drive. Now you can hook up a keyboard, mouse, and monitor to this thing, but it's really slow, and of course you lose your portability that way. Oh hey Bill, it's Dave down in engineering. You know that thing I called you about before? Don't bother calling back, it's, uh, it's not that important. <laughs>